Hi viewers and welcome to tutorial number two. So this tutorial is for creating a preloader for phaser to get all the assets in up and running ready to go. And in the previous video we actually created a preload scene, got the main template up, up and running and got all our libraries installed. All set for Jest. We haven't got this Jest testing framework installed, but that'll come back uh, come in later. Um, so in this video we're going to look at actually making the previous game scene that we removed we're going to actually have a look at once we've preloaded all of our images and our resources into phaser we're going to look at creating that second scene and using those images in there because before we just had a normal fixed image within the scene for our logo that was bouncing up and down so let's get to it so remember rightly we've got our preload that's been loaded uh, game.scene.start preload scene which loads this one which loads all our files so what we need to do is actually once we've done loading we want to actually swap scenes so first of all we need to actually create the the main game scene that we actually uh, hacked about and to create the preload scene of. So if we go back to back to our, um, our index, we want to actually reinstantiate these. So to do that, I'm going to create a new file. Oops. And I'm going to call this game.js. And this will be our main game. I'm going to create a class, class game scene, we call it extends phaser dot scene. And I can close brackets there. And I'm going to jump into my index.js and I'm going to bring in these, these preload and create functions and of course a tween as well so grab all those and pull those back in so we need all that actually right. a clean up while I'm here it's cool and we need to follow the same uh, pattern here, the export, the export default on the class. So let's add that in there. There we go, and let's add our code. And quickly neaten that up. Oh, right, of course. To remove the function. That's all good. Um, standardize the double quotes. My fat. It's all good. Right, so that's our phaser scene coming in there. So this dot load dot image logo we don't need that or do we yes we do but the logo img is now no longer so we need to get rid of that
so we can actually get rid of this because we no longer use logo image we don't need to load the image anymore because we've already preloaded it so that's good create const logo and we've got our tween down here and that should be enough for that phaser scene and now it's a case of actually initialization uh, sorry initializing <clears throat> and now it's a case of initializing the scene and letting phaser do its job so we jump into the preload and we've got to initialize our scene where the console.log done loading is To initialize it, all we have to do is this dot scene dot start, and then we pass in the actual key to the scene that we that we need to, that we are, are going to create. So I'm going to call it game scene. I haven't actually instantiated this yet. We will do that shortly. So that's the ID. And if we jump back to our index.js, we need to import the game scene in here. From, um, oh, no, it's dot slash. I've got one called gain there. What I'm going to do is actually rename that. Rename that to game so it's consistent. And that will automatically update that there. That's good. And what I'm going to do is just check the game. Game scene. It's all good. And we're going to add it to our scenes. Right, and okay. I don't know what I did there, but there you go. Okay, let's see. Right, new game scene. That's loaded in there. So let's add it to the scenes now. Uh, look at what's, be, what's going on behind the scenes. You can see that it's actually loaded up and all our files have loaded. So it's a bit quick um, because these will be firing in the background and it's straight away that the uh, phaser will be loaded, uh, the phaser icon. Is loaded after this, so the actual pre caching is probably getting there before the actual output itself. So it looks like there's a there's a delay in there, but there actually isn't. I can prove that. Jumping back into because a that logo would not appear. So if I jump back into here and look at the game. Prism console dot log game scene preload start and on the crate console dot log game scene crate start If we have a look, we should see happen in our output. So our files file loads are done first, and after done loading, our 
gain seam preload start starts, and then after that our gain seam create start. So that proves that our preloading is being done before this scene has started. So we started uh, now getting a bit of a uh, our game is starting to actually come together now. Our preload is in place and working. Um, what we need to do now is actually display a nice little progress bar of each of these files being loaded up to 100% and say fade out and fade into this scene as though it was a, a, a game, a, a true game actually starting. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So we come over to a game.js scene. I'm going to add the fade in here. So I'm going to place a fade after all the tweens have been added and everything has been set up. And the reason why I do that is because I'm not going to start the fade at the very first start of the crate because I want to be able to allow all this to be set up first and then start the fade. So it allows something to be on screen straight away before our fade comes up. So it's a one line command. So I'm going to place it after the last thing in the loop. Sorry, in the actual function itself. This dot cameras dot main dot fade in. And then in brackets, we had the duration in milliseconds. Let's save. Let's quickly go over to our website and what we should see is this slowly fading in. I added an extra zero to that. Which is no good. Don't want it for 20. 20 seconds. Same zero off. There we go. That's better. There you go. So you've so it's got a two second fade in there. So in the next video what we'll look at is actually creating the progress bar and start to get that set up.